We study microbes in the ocean, which are small, single-celled organisms, and primarily we focus on algae, or phytoplankton, and these are also another type of microbe, and they're essentially single-celled plants, and so they are photosynthetic organisms that form the base of the food web, or essentially providing all the food and energy for the, the ocean and ecosystem. And, and so everything that's larger, fish, dolphins, whales, they're ultimately getting their food from these single-celled plants or algae. We've known from past research that the oceans are becoming more acidic because of increased carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. And so this has two major effects. One is that there are shelled organisms that are particularly sensitive to this increased acidity. So things like shrimp, oysters, scallops, um, also corals, they have these hard shells and so that acid just dissolves those shells. The other factor to, to understand is that long-term increases in carbon dioxide um, that enters the ocean and, and there's other organisms that use that too and, and those are the algae or, or phytoplankton, the microbes. Some may enjoy that, that additional CO2, they may flourish, but, um, but others may not like it, that, that additional CO2 uh, may harm them. What our studies have recently shown is that uh, we see short-term pulses in acidity that can affect microbes, including algae, and potentially with cascading effects on the larger ecosystem.